and they're off. The Nile crocodile easily outswims the hippo. They're swimming upstream against a heavy current. But the croc's body is built for swimming through rough water. It weighs as much as two refrigerator freezers and is thought to be the heaviest reptile on Earth. It can swim up to 22 miles per hour. The hippo can't swim. Not really. It just walks on the bottom of the river and pushes off from any big rock it finds. It can close its nostrils whenever it wants to be able to glide a bit through the water, but it's no match for the croc. The croc reaches the shore and starts running through a field. But better make way. The hippo's catching up. It's speeding across the flat terrain. Even though it's huge, the hippo can outsprint a human. The croc was miles ahead, but the hippo's faster on foot. The hippo breaks through the ribbon. It's all over! Beep, beep! Hey there, Roadrunner! What you running from? Wait, hold everything. That coyote is catching up fast. He's right on your tail. The greater Roadrunner can run up to 20 miles per hour, even faster when it's really hungry. Despite what you see in cartoons, a coyote is actually twice as fast as a Roadrunner. But the cartoon version is way funnier. In lane 1, from the dense jungles of South America, the ever-slow sloth. And right underneath him, in lane 2, we have a typical garden snail. And the race is on for the slowest animal on Earth. With the sloth's top speed clocking in at 0.2 miles per hour, it's no wonder they call it a giant moving pillow. Well, I call them that. The snail is off to a good start. It can cover a small neighborhood in about an hour. This boneless creature has only one foot, which is covered in protective slime. It's too blurry to see, but I think the sloth is still in the same spot. And now it's asleep. It'll probably be asleep through the whole race. A sloth can snooze it up for 15 hours a day. It's asleep for more than half of its life. And look, the snail got out of that sunny patch. Next up, a shady patch. Ooh, it's too close to call. We'll have to wait till the sloth wakes up to get back to this race. A grizzly bear can easily outrun a human. If you're at a picnic and you cook up something a little too yummy, better leave your lunch behind. The fastest a human can sprint is 28 miles per hour, set, of course, by Usain Bolt. So he'd probably be able to run away in time. If you're slower than him, which you are, then you're in trouble. In a one-on-one sprint between a human and a grizzly bear, you're going to be the bear's lunch every time. But out of all the bears, which one's the fastest? Polar bears, grizzly bears, brown bears, sun bears, and the cute cuddly panda bear. On your marks, get set, go! The tension is palpable. The grizzly and the brown bear are claw to claw. A brown bear can easily run as fast as a grizzly. The sun bear is the smallest bear in the race. It's about 6 feet long, or tall, or whatever. It just can't keep up. The polar bear got off to a great start, but it just doesn't have the speed of the grizzly or brown bear. Grizzly takes the lead. No, it's the brown bear. Now grizzly. Wait, where's panda? What's it doing? I don't think it knows it's a race, but isn't it cute? It just finished its third bamboo stick. A panda bear can eat up to 28 pounds of bamboo a day. That's like a lot. But it's off. It found its shortcut and is rolling down that hill. It zooms past the grizzly and the brown bear. It's all over. Panda wins. Sorry, bears. We all know that the panda isn't exactly fast. It's actually one of the slowest bears. Still, if you see a panda rolling down the hill in your direction, run. A Boeing 747 has a top speed of around 620 miles per hour. The fastest bird is the gray-headed albatross. It can fly up to 80 miles per hour and stay up there for 10 hours without landing. The peregrine falcon is faster, but only when it's diving straight down to grab some takeout. Watch out, pigeon! Wow! Big planes take a long time to get up in the air, but the albatross? It's up and off in a few seconds. It's in the lead! But a few minutes later, back to Slowmoville. The sloth's awake. That's good. But so far, it's only managed to lift its arm to reach that tree branch. The garden snail's still trying to get past that big rock. Sloths spend a lot of their time as motionless as possible, so that they don't become someone else's breakfast. Not great training for a race. But hold on! Player 3 has entered the race. It's the Galapagos tortoise. Its powerful front legs carry this tank of an animal. 
It's a whopping four times faster than a garden snail. This just got interesting. We got ourselves the race that'll last a century. The tortoise is running and dodging every obstacle. Nothing can stop it. Hey, no cheating, sloth. Don't be dropping tree branches from up there. Deep underground, a mole's busy burrowing around. A mole can eat as many earthworms as his own body weight and can dig around 15 feet per hour. The American badger is the fastest digging animal in the world and is surprisingly fast on land. It can almost match the speed of a human on a good day. Head to head, the American badger wins the tunnel race pretty easily. Too bad the mole can't see where it's going. Moles aren't really blind. They just have terrible eyesight and they're colorblind. And they can't wear glasses down there. Ah, the proud cheetah. It's sprinting across the savanna at warp speed. I've been the fastest land mammal for millions of years. I got this. The fastest cheetah on record was a sprinter named Sarah. When she was 11, she was 11. She ran the 100 meters in under 6 seconds. A cheetah can run up to 